A barrier breaker is one who, in spite of generational challenges, as we recap, they break through. In spite of educational challenges, they break through. In spite of economical challenges, they break through. In spite of circumstantial challenges, they break through. Tell you anybody's talking about me. The first point I unveiled last week was that barrier breakers live life by design and not life by crisis. The devil wants for you to focus on your crisis when that's just something temporary. But if you keep focus on it, something that should be temporary will become your life. As one man said, you bring about what you think about. As a man thinketh in his heart, the Bible says, so is he. So what have you been focusing on? What crisis have you been focusing on? God is not the will of God that you focus on the things that you are going through. God wants for you to focus on what you are going to. Because what, a, what is ahead of you is greater than what you are experiencing right now. And I've come to tell you a better day is ahead of you. Ah, ah Jesus have mercy. I said, I said I've come to announce to somebody. I don't know if you came here to show off your pretty clothes or you came here because you never had anything better to do. I don't know about you. It's too hot for me to waste my time and come here and play cute. I came here for a word and I've got a word for somebody. And that word is what is ahead of you is greater than what you're experiencing right now. Somebody clap your hands and praise God for what is ahead of you. Somebody worship. Uh, uh, don't miss your purpose by focusing on your crisis a large percentage of people in life who fail they spend a serious amount of time focusing on their crisis while ignoring their purpose so one of the first thing that you need to discover is your purpose why am I here why did God put me on this little island called Jamaica? Why wasn't I born in America? Why wasn't I born in a land of greater opportunities? Why did God allow me to be born to this mother and this father and, and, and the kind of help that I want that didn't give it to me? If God allowed you to be born here, it means he put everything within you to overcome. He has put everything within you you to win and there's a specific reason why he put you here because there are certain people who are other places that cannot accomplish the things that you can accomplish on this part of island i want for you to know that greatness is on the inside of you and i don't care who tell you you will never make it and who tell you the odds are against you i've come to announce i'm coming out of my prior closet and i come to announce to somebody you will make it you have greatness on the inside oh Jesus tell your neighbor this is a gathering of champions Jesus have mercy tell somebody this is a gathering of champions come on come on come on tell somebody this is not a gathering for chickens this is a gathering of champions we have left where are we coming from and we come here in order to be challenged in order to be sharpened that we can go back out here oh jesus let me explain let me explain ah, this is round three you're in a boxing match well this is the corner of the ring and i am your coach and i come to wipe your sweat and dress your wound and encourage you and tell you get back in the ring because you're gonna win this honey i said you're gonna win this i don't know who told you that you ain't gonna make it but i come to tell you you will Jesus, Jesus, Ephesians, I shared and I told you that Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10, it says we are his workmanship, 
So one of the first things you have got to understand is that you are the handiwork of God. Say amen. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works. That means you are born again. You are created in Christ Jesus. So it's a new you. So the you that existed before salvation, it's a different you. Take your eyes out of the rear view mirror and stop looking at the old you. And the Boshaka begin to understand that there's a brand new you right now. The you that used to struggle. The you that used to fornicate and commit adultery. The you that people used to push around. That you is changed. Somebody tell your neighbor it's a brand new me. Which God, now watch this, workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. So, so watch this, you are created unto good works. You can't be lazy now. You are created to work. Matter of fact, you are wired to serve. Message I'm, I'm planning to preach called wired to serve. You are wired to serve. Right? Now, the service that you are called to perform, the Bible says that God ordained that we should walk in them. That means before you and I were born, according to Jeremiah, before he was formed in his mother's womb, God knew him and ordained him. So before your mama met your papa, God looked in the future and he saw you and he determined your end even before your beginning. He determined who you should marry. I love you. Excuse me a little bit. He determined who you should marry. He determined where you should live. Some of you think that the accident was an accident. But even that negative thing that you went through, that you hate and you get upset about, God had his hand in it. And he told me to tell you that all things work together for your good. What you need to do is ensure you keep loving God. So the enemy come against you, I love you, Jesus. The enemy fighting you, I love you, Jesus. People are trying to work over upon you, I love you, Jesus. But mind you on your job, I love you, Jesus. I try to fight you out of your house. I love you, Jesus. Your children giving you trouble. I love you, Jesus. Tell anybody, it's a, it's a setup. Yeah. It's a setup. When my daddy kicked me out of the house set up when that man walked out on you set up can I preach when they kicked you off that job and you start feeling pain and you start suffering it was a setup when they turned down your contract it was a setup can I tell you that the word good comes from the, the Greek word agophos and it means benefit it means that the hell that you're going through you're gonna get paid it's gonna work for your benefit can I preach to somebody up in this place it, so if I realize that I'm going to benefit from my pain, then when difficult situation presents itself, rather than getting depressed, I should turn up the praise. <laughs> rather than allowing frustration to come upon me, I should lift my level of worship because if I keep loving God, I'm going to benefit from this. Somebody tell your neighbor, keep your eyes on Jesus, not on the problem. Secondly, it says, it says that you must not only love God, because this promise is condition, conditional, but you must remain true to the calling of God. What does that mean? It means each of us were designed, we were designed for a specific purpose. And if you don't walk in that purpose, then all things will not work together for your good. And so some of us, we turn back, we backslide because of challenges. It ain't working together for your good right now. Some of you stop loving God and start loving something else. You have idols in your life. Not working together for your good. You need to repent and realign yourself with the Lord. Somebody say amen. You need to begin to fulfill the purpose for which you are created. 
And it is as you do that, that all things will work together for your good. Somebody say, life by design. Not life by crisis. All right. I share with you briefly by grace of God on the second step to breaking the barriers. You see, it's not only important for you to know why you're here and live life by design and to fulfill your purpose, but you must fulfill that purpose in excellence. 